A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 16th April. On the front page you have Election Commission curbs campaigning by Yogi, Mayavati, Maneka and Azam. So the electioneering has been restrained for 48 to 72 hours by the Election Commission for violation of the Model Code of Conduct. So here you can see the restrictions which have been put on them. So, and the reasons for each you can see regarding Yogi Adityanath and uh, also regarding Mayavati. So Yogi Adityanath is, you can see he said, uh, you know, at a public meeting in response to Ms. Mayavati's appeal, uh, you know, he said that if SP, VSP and RLD have faith in Ali, then we have faith in Bajrang Dali. Also he said, make Hara virus, uh, he made a Hara virus, green virus. So, such statements as such you know, uh, show religious uh, discrimination being done and religion being used in campaigning, which is not allowed. And then you have here also, you know, uh, Miss Mayavati. And also, Miss Maneka Gandhi, we had discussed that in news also, how she had uh, threatened the Muslim voters that if she comes to power and if they won't vote for him, then she won't work for them. So this is in that context that election commission has put restrictions on them, on the election. Then below you have Supreme Court urged after poll panels councils say it is powerless. So this is uh, the election commission exactly, you know, uh, uh, 24 hours were given to the election commission to explain its lawyer's submission that it was largely powerless and toothless to act against religious and hate speeches by candidates during the ongoing campaign for Lok Sabha elections. So this is what the lawyer for election commission submitted in the Supreme Court. It mentioned the terms powerless and toothless. So now Supreme Court has given the poll panel that is election commission 24 hours to respond. This inaction against candidates is an issue which Supreme Court raised and we saw the election commission taking action against prominent leaders too. So it's also connected. Then below you have the news, monsoon likely to be normal this year, says meteorological department. So the Indian meteorological department says that monsoon in India would be, would likely be normal. So the forecast is actually that India is likely to be 90, having rainfall 96% of the long period average. So 90% forecast as such you should understand in IMD lexicon means what it exactly means. It means near normal rainfall and below normal rainfall is 90 to 96%. So there is very little difference between 96% and then you know becoming below normal. So that is there. There is a private weather forecasting agency to SkyMet, which had earlier we discussed in April 2019 itself that it had forecast below normal rains in June to September. So it said El Nino conditions are developing, and because of this, there will be uh, below normal months. But IMD's optimism optimism is from the global climate models projecting a weakening El Nino. That El Nino is weakening now, which have, which develops in the central and eastern Pacific region and is linked to monsoon. So whenever El Nino year is there, then Indian monsoons are weak. So that is there. We have discussed El Nino quite often in the detailed videos. On page 2, you have here below tiger reserve status for Nandhar sort. So this is a wildlife sanctuary in Uttarakhand. Number of tigers here are growing. So it is, it is making a demand for tiger reserve status. So this is Nandhar Wildlife Sanctuary in Uttarakhand. Number of tigers here when it came into being, it's a new wildlife sanctuary. It, is, it, was, it came into being in 2012. At that time, number of tigers were 9, but now they have increased to, to, to in 2018 to 27 tigers. And it is set to cross 32 this year. Too. So here you can see Nandhar Wildlife Sanctuary is situated close to the Nandhar River in Kumon region of Uttarakhand. Then on page 3, you have subsonic cruise missile Nirbhay successfully test fired. So India successfully test fired its indigenously designed and developed long range subsonic cruise missile Nirbhay. So this test took place from a test range in Odisha, in Balasur. So here you can see 
the details the trial was successful the details of nirbhay missile you should know it was last uh, successfully trialed in november 2017 then on page 5 you have rawat bats for indigenization so army chief commissions uh, you know uh, as such vira Uh, which is an offshore patrol vessel of the Indian Coast Guard. So this was commissioned by the Army Chief General Bipin Rawat. So he has made a case for augmenting its the fleet of Indian Coast Guard and uh, uh, emphasizing that it should be done under Make in India program. So indigenization is being emphasized on. So this is the Vira offshore patrol vessel commissioned for Indian Coast Guard. and this is sunstroke cases on the rise in andhra pradesh so number of cases of sunstroke have increased the state disaster management and state government and disaster management authority of andhra pradesh it said it is implementing the heat wave action plan so there is this heat wave action plan in place in the state too but so far it is said 346 people have been hospitalized for sunstroke related cases on page 6 you have center extends truce with naga militants by a year so central government has uh, extended the ceasefire agreement by one year with two insurgent groups in nagaland so that is nscn k and nscn r so it has decided to extend the suspension of operations agreement with these two there is another one nscn im which is not in truce with the government so final agreement has to be finalized so till that time the truce has been the ceasefire has been extended on page 7 you have clean supreme court seeks entry of women into mosques so this is a petition which has been filed saying that why there is restriction or prohibition of entry of women, muslim women into mosques this is violation of their dignity so a petition has been filed in the supreme court on the matter then this is more gslv launch vehicles in the office so union cabinet has granted approval for more gslv launch vehicles that is global uh, geostationary satellite launch vehicle so for the period 2021 to 2024 so next phase 4 of gslv will continue so we also have mars mission lined up second mars mission which will be using a gslv on the editorial page the first editorial is slowing down fast so this is regarding the downturn in industrial activity and spike in retail inflation which was news together so these are policy challenges because economy is slowing down retail inflation is gradually picking up so that is been highlighted and this is a mammoth election so this is regarding elections in indonesia so indonesia's presidential parliamentary and provincial elections all are at uh, are going to take place so much is at stake in indonesia and the lead article is an india without the left so this is regarding understanding left's central role as such in india so the mass mobilizations which it uh, undertook you know to highlight injustice and inequality has to be given its place and this is weather vane of democracy so election commission's weakening commitment to model code of conduct is highlighted as a cause of concern in this article then on opet page you have this article respecting leaders in a democracy so this says that we do not defer to our rulers means we do not uh, you know just blindly follow our rulers they are our equals they earn our respect only if they perform well and this is road to kashmir respecting human rights is not at odds with providing security means you can respect human rights and provide security together you know so it is essential to have respect human rights along with providing security but that is missing now in jammu and kashmir then on international page you have sudan protesters call for civilian government so 10 mele- 10 member delegation of demonstrators have delivered a list of demands in sudan we have seen sudan has been rocked by unrest for the last 4 months so now there is a demand from the protesters the leader actor umar al bashir he had said that he will go for another term he is uh, too old finally he stepped down so now a 10 member delegation of demonstrators have delivered a list of demands because still they continue to uh, you know protest because just him stepping down is not sufficient the system has to change so 
this is in Sudan in Africa. Then this is fire devastates Paris's iconic Notre Dame Cathedral. So here a fire took place at the cathedral, famous cathedral in Paris, France. And this is China is using artificial intelligence to profile Uyghur Muslims. So facial recognition technology is being used not just in Xinjiang but also in wealthy cities like Hangzhou to, to find out Uyghur Muslims. So that is racial discrimination being done too. On business page, you have Indian bosses shine in derivatives. So this is National Stock Exchange and Bombay Stock Exchange, which account for 96% of currency trading in Asia Pacific region for 2018. So Indian stock exchanges are shining. Then this is exports outpace imports at 11% in March. So the trade deficit has narrowed for the month March 2019. So because exports outpaced imports. And here you have wholesale price inflation spikes to 3.18%. So food fuel have become costlier in March 2019 which has pushed up wholesale price index to 3 month high. On page 14 you have public sector enterprises to get 12 months to sell non-core assets. So finance ministry uh, may curb their budgetary allocation too for non-compliance. So all non-core assets have to be sold by public sector undertakings. On the last page you have first 3D printed heart has human tissues and vessels. So these scientists in Israel have unveiled a 3D print of a heart with human tissues and vessels. It's first and a major medical breakthrough so for transplants. So it raises possibility for transplants into patients in future. So 3D printing is very important. It has been asked in UPSC earlier too. And this is global measles cases up by 300%, says World Health Organization. So drop in vaccination is being seen and the, now the number of cases are increasing. So that is highlighted by the World Health Organization. So these are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asia.com, download the current affairs PDFs too. Plus also you can enroll for the current affairs video course which gives detailed video analysis of the headlines. Thank you.